Welcome to Get Small Quick, bro. My name is G Money, and we're concluding the tourism. Concluding today. And today, I want to continue back to what we were saying about UNESCO. And then UNESCO, the values of the world heritage is that it's, pre it's prestigious. So, you know, prestigious when it has something as a high caliber. Another thing is the conservation. The conservation of this is it can't, will it last long? Are we maintaining its structure, its heritage, those type of things? And income, dog. It's all about the money. Money makes the world go around, bro. Money makes the world go around. Now, the purpose... Now, we're going to travel into something very interesting I want us to really look at. And that is customer feedback. We need customer feedback because we're not selling to ourselves. If we're selling to ourselves, we'd be rich, bro. We'd be rich because we know ourselves. Hopefully, you know yourselves, bro. If you don't, you, you need to start knowing yourself. But now, let's But now let's focus on customer feedback. Customer feedback is basically knowing where... What where are the where are they successful and where they need to be where to they need to improve? That's what customer feedback is basically is. You feel me? It's just knowing where you gotta improve and where you're successful. Now the purpose of this is understand what you're doing that's right. It's also understand what you're doing that's wrong. Coming out the way to improve that and also are finding a way to really attract people to really pull that in. And the method, the various methods you can do are recordings, questionnaire, customer feedback. Follow up calls. What else? What else is that? SMS and websites. Basically, all of these are very self-explanatory. But let's go even deeper to really, truly understand and really drill that down. In this concluding video, is that number one, you gotta analyze the customer feedback. So, like, if people say we don't like this because of that, then you gotta fix it. That's analyzing customer feedback. Then after that, you gotta study. The, are they satisfied after we said after we? We analyze their feedback. Are they satisfied? Then we gotta know the common complaint. Then we gotta create an action plan. Gotta create an answer. Remember, analyze the customers' uh, analyze the customers' feedback. Study or the customer satisfaction. Know the common complaint. Decide on an action plan. That's the thing you need. Know. And then the impact on profitability. That's also Impact on profitability is basic, dog. It's basic, you know. You get more money, better reputation. Clients are satisfied. Clients are loyalty, bro. Like loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. That's all we want, baby. That's all. That's all what it all boils down to, bro. That's all what it boils down to. So now like, we're going into professional image. And professional image boils down to the stationery. You know those companies that have the pen with the logo and the slogan, those type of things. Next thing is the logo and the slogan. <laughs> Physical appearance. Do you look nice? You look dapper. Do you look neat? You don't need to look, you don't need to look sexy to be sexy. Uh, the promotion and communication when you're out there is the image of your company decent. It don't need to be sexy, bro. You just it needs to be like we can trust them and we're willing to give them the money. You know what I'm saying? Marketing material. You know what I'm saying? Marketing material is are you marketing well, bro? Do they under do they truly like understand what you were coming from and the message you're trying to portray in your products? Nothing is testimonials. Testimonials are very important. They're very important in the sense that it's hopefully your testimonials are honest. <laughs> if they're not honest, it will get into trouble. But testimonials are very important because they show that this past customer was satisfied, so obviously I'm gonna get satisfied, hopefully. You keep your end of the deal. Another thing, employee behavior. This is very sad when you see employees slacking off at work like regular show, bro. That's not right. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. You need to be immersed in what you're doing. Whether or not you're good or bad, just be immersed in it. Be immersed. Environmental policies. Do you take care of the environment? Try and take care of the environment, man. You feel me? Be Try and be a better individual for the world and also for your future kids. So we can just spread more love and, and honesty and, and good um, men mental habits and abilities. And that starts with environmental policies because if there's no environment for the kids to play, drugs and guns are the next best thing, bro. <laughs> guns and drugs are the next best thing. Next thing is good customer service policy. you got to serve your people right. You know, People are bitching out you, you know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not satisfied. Like You can give out the, the best service and people will still bitch. But at least here, 
you in control of this so you know at least if, if you, you know your stuff and you're looking i'm not advising this but let's say you, you have a surveillance and you're watching you know how your stuff acts and at least you know that if people are talking trash then it's because of them then you can hire a pr team to really manage that okay now how how stuff can contribute contribute to the professional image and that's basically it's the uniform right guard look neat look like a team look like we won we're moving like one even though we're moving in a different direction dress code man dress dapper depending also where you're at some places you can dress funky because that's the ethos but some places you can't dress funky because that's not the ethos got off my personal hygiene man just smell decent you don't need you, you can just wash with soap have roll on a deodorant you don't need to be smelling like basashi that's unnecessarily that's unnecessary breath that's unnecessary dog but another in how you interact with the clients as well are you like compassionate do they really care do they feel understood and warm that type of thing after that we want to also look at communication skills are you really communicating well do you do you communicate in a well that people feel understood that they feel like you comprehend what they're going through if you speak like that my homie you're gonna get a lot of money as we conclude we finally finished Woo! we finally finished Woo! we finished and i want to just say thank you very much thank you very much thank you very fucking much and Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. And uh, enjoy the series. Oh, yeah. Fuck up them dads. Oh, yeah. Fuck up them dads.